So what? You intend to bomb the Mojave? No, not the Mojave. The West. All that's been built since America died. Same symbols as before the war. Now a flag carried by a tribe of children. You walked the West, didn't stay. You know the reason. The bear grows without structure, follows a symbol without knowing its history. And knowing that you believe in a bear sickness and have given it strength, and that gives more reason to lay waste to your homeland. After this, only one flag will remain over the Mojave. Let that one fly, or destroy itself. You can't destroy the West, even with all the missiles here. <laughs> no need to destroy the bear. Just cut its throat. You taught me that at the Divide. Only need to cut off the supply line, the road, to watch something greater die. I'll turn the long 15 into miles of fire. Cut off the Mojave. NCR will fall back, lose Hoover Dam, and leave their throats exposed to the Legion. Even if you have no faith in the NCR, I do. My actions have proven it. Your actions have carried strength. If you speak for the two-headed bear, I'll hear your words, even if I will be the only one to hear them. If you believe it should not die this day, then answer me why. One can build a community, make it stronger. You saw it at the Divide, even blamed me for it. History has proven this. Our history. And you think that you have this strength? Enough for all of NCR. The West is not the Divide, and nothing you can do can prevent the missile's launch. Convincing me changes nothing. I believe that one person can make or break a nation. You already know this. It may be that as much destruction has been written in the Earth here, you may build something else, as you built the Divide. You have spoken truly. There is a shadow of a nation behind you, the hope of a people. Yet it may not matter. The Divide still stands against us. The Divide? What do you mean? Our enemies gather outside, shadows of the bear and a bull. They will have found their way in, just as you did. It was always my intention. In case I could not kill you, the marked men would flood this place, cut off your escape. If we cannot prevent what comes, then let us make our stand here. Two couriers together at the Divide. Ooh, here we go! Here we go! This is a good save point! Oh my goodness! They come for us. East and west alike. Here they come. That's one good good shot. Oh my goodness, so many explosives. Ulysses, you got this? Oh, he's using a 12.7. We are OP. His head's gone! <laughs> Ulysses, you're taking my kills! Oh man, all these bots. Is Ulysses invisible now? I feel like he probably is. Oh my goodness. This is one of the coolest things. I'm gonna be honest, I save scummed. <laughs> I used I used the wrong dialogue towards the end there. Um why can I see him? Oh, because I have Eddie on my team. Dirk. I like having Eddie on my team. Makes enemies like that. Much easier. I think that's why they had the cloaked enemies towards the end there. Because you wouldn't be able to uh, take care of them as you wanted. As you wished. As you willed. Ow. Owie! Oh, I'm crippled. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Oh, you're getting a little too close to that nuclear warhead, buddy. There we go. That probably didn't kill him, did it? Did it? Nope. Nope. Almost. 
dead. This is a really intense fight. Really intense. Uh, somebody <laughs> asked the question, the very simple question, why do you like unarmed and melee characters? Whoa! Excellent question, thank you. <laughs> also, because I like I like getting up in the enemy's face. I love the idea of tactically blocking. Um, and the satisfaction of getting a good block against an enemy melee attack. Or even a beast's. Like getting that that close into a beast's face and just punching their lights out. Or removing their head by force. Um, death claws kind of thing. I definitely like that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I haven't... I know I've been asked that question before, and I, I like I like being up in their face and witnessing the giblets firsthand. That's that's my kind of auto answer. But uh, yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll stick to that. I like I like witnessing their death, very close and personal like. Or maybe maybe it's like uh, I like the combat being intimate with my enemy. That could be a better answer. That's a more that's a more poetic almost answer. Why are they fighting each other? Why is the medbot suddenly fighting everyone? That's kind of backwards. Medbot's like, fight me! We wanna take out that guy. Who else we got? You! You, sir! Do you <laughs> Did he fall over? Is he? I don't know what. Where is he going? Where are you going? Why are you healed? I don't like that at all. I don't want to shoot the medical bot because then that might not work. Where's the rest of them? Hello? Evil enemies? Uh huh. That's not working. I'm gonna use this on the warhead. That do some damage to him. No need, oh. And now there's just a whole bunch of them just running around invisible. I'm not a fan of this. And somehow I keep missing them. I'm glad we can all see them though. That makes it a heck of a lot easier. Okay. Is there a reason they're just exploding? When they die? Is that what they're supposed to do? You Did you switch to another gun? You that gun's not as effective, you'll see. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I know, I know you're you're like my my close companion at this point, my compatriot, my brother in arms. But I do believe that's the wrong gun for you. Oh my goodness! Can you come back? Yep. Okay. That works. Whoa! Jeez, man! At least I can see you now. Are we still fighting those robots? Something went horribly wrong with the medbot. Because we're still deciding to fight it. Okay, let's finish off the rest of these warheads. Because there is a lot of them here. A lot of them. Yes, yes. And there's that one. Take that out. Uh -huh. And that one. 27 out of 30. I think that only leaves... I think that only leaves... The last three... In... The Courier's Mile. I think there's only three there. So we do actually have to go back. Can we actually kill the repair I bought? I'm curious. Yes, we can. Now, does everybody else hate me? No? Alright, dude. Ulysses. Ulysses! What do we do now? Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Hey, what do we do? If we're done here, let's leave the divide behind. If we get separated, 
I'll meet you about Hopeville, near the canyon wreckage. Sound good, buddy. We gotta stop that launch, though. We do have to stop that launch. The terminal is already engaged in its countdown sequence and the abort code has been overridden. You might be able to change the missile's target or accelerate the countdown and launch the missiles immediately. Well, I think because of my allegiance, the answer is pretty simple. Redirect the missiles to target Caesar's territory. This will launch Ulysses missiles against targets in the lands east of the Colorado controlled by Caesar's Legion. Raining nuclear fire down on its cities and its tribes. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. They themselves are evil. There it goes. They're slaves. Uh, would, would probably... It'll probably be a mercy killing for their slaves. Now we must run. Now we must leave! And get our awesome, awesome ending sequence with Ulysses. The divide erupted in fire as the flame trail of the two couriers' last message arced into the sky. Missiles fell on the east, and the Legion encampment at Drywells, where the Twisted Hears had allied, then been betrayed by Wolpus and Kaisar. Legion soldiers died, their silhouettes blasted into the ground and earth. The last word of the last of the twisted hairs. It was an ending to things. A way of erasing the road that had led to this point and the history that had walked with it. Hopeville burned lightless in the night, invisible fires of radiation scorching it from within and without. It is said a man still walked its streets with a tattered jacket and old world flag etched on the back. He remained there, perhaps as punishment for the scars he left on the wastes, or a reminder of a history he could not forget. For Ulysses, his journey was over. The courier had been the end of his road. As for the courier, he turned his back on his home for the second time and made his way back, navigating the treachery of the Divide. Tunnelers and the marked men avoided the lone figure, as if recognizing the courier's right to passage, or out of fear. The courier walked until he stood again upon the edge of the Divide, the last road he would walk before the second battle for Hoover Dam. There, beside his feet, was a final package from one courier to another. A footlocker bearing a gift and a message. But that message, it is something for couriers to carry and for them alone. The lights flickered across the divide. Reminders that the old world histories persist and find meaning in the present. It said, war, war never changes. Men do through the roads they walk. And this road has reached its end. Okay. Hey, dry wells. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it was actually dark when we came back. Oh my goodness. So yeah, uh, I think Caesar's Legion is a little, uh, a little mad at me. Eight time now, there we go. 
The fires of Armageddon, your merciless nuclear assault on Caesar's Legion, has devastated the lands east of the Colorado and reached even the borders of the Mojave. At Cottonwood Cove, you can now take a journey by river to the site of Drywell's, a devastated Legion encampment. Be prepared, the area is highly aerated and infested with Legion ghouls. You have also unlocked the Scourge of the East perk, allowing you to put a single point into any of your special attributes. You also gain reputation with the NCR for breaking the back of Caesar's Legion, but you also lose reputation with Caesar's Legion. So I think the attribute that makes the most sense is Agility, uh, because we are a guns character, and I think this affects accuracy with guns? If not, it still affects your AP, so yeah. Agility. Agility is now at 10, Lux now at 10, and we leveled up. How about that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's use that. Okay, all the points in the rightful places. I know that I cheated a little bit <laughs> and put all my points into speech from the last level up, but wasn't it worth it? Wasn't it worth it to get a nice little alliance going with Ulysses? We have a final message from him and his duster and my duster. And his mask. Oh, so many choices here. I don't think I'll be able to wear the mask with the, with the hat, though. I got myself the Courier Duster. And it is the NCR variant, which gives us extra carry weight. And uh, looks pretty darn good to boot. Yes, it does. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if I actually want to run around with this one. Because it is just carry weight. I want to keep myself more durable and have that extra crit chance, so I'm going to put Joshua Graham's armor back on. Thanks for the gift, Ulysses. It's probably going to be a, uh, hanging on a coat hanger. <clears throat> we're going to hold off on the gifts from Ulysses, or listening to them, because we're going to stop by the edge of the divide and go say hi to him. So we have our buddy Ulysses hanging out here, and uh, we can talk to him and get a little more extra story type B stuff since he's still alive and able to converse about it. So, let's talk to him. Hi, Ulysses! Full circle. Walked your road. Now back again. Something else in you needing an answer. Drawwells is destroyed. Was that your birthplace? No. Opposite of that. It's where my tribe was taken. Where another history was put to the blade. Lesson taught. It is where we realize Wolpus did not approach us as equals, where we realized the wolf had come, and we watched our history die. Now it belongs to Legion, and all the death there now belongs to them as well. Not revenge, just the way of things when you own them. Have you been to Hopeville since the Ashton missile hit? Walk there sometimes. Keep the walks short. Still, it's important to see. Something else to answer for. Occasionally sift through the dust, the buildings. See if I can find some history. Marks of America. If you want them, keep them. You've earned it. Nothing to be gained by me holding them. And more will surface in time. I figured you'd want to know. I reached Vegas and I dealt with Mr. House. House spoke. Acted through machines. Sometimes can judge a man by his messengers. Sometimes the messengers judge him. Wonder what happens to Vegas now. The tribes, families. We'll see. What you did was for the best. The old world died long ago. Anyone who believes they can make it return, and everything will be as it was. It is a dangerous belief needs to be silenced before their belief spreads. If you saw a house, you didn't see a man. An old world spirit, perhaps. Filthy, diseased. If so, killing him was mercy, not cruelty. Then there is nothing more to be done. The Mojave awaits. Oh man, so much exposition. Huh. Too much to handle. <laughs> okay, so we have the Courier's Mile. We still got to do that part. So let's go down into Hopeville and get that get that uh, thing figured out. Thanks all of you for watching, and a special thank you to Sven, the very first Wasteland Legend supporter. <laughs>